your class. Uh, huh? Uh, Did you have fun? Uh -huh. Mommy packed your lunch. So I just went by um, Cafe Lucia. This is called Honey Bee. Well, I'll tell you, oh, it's so good. It's got honey at the bottom of it. And I got a decaf. And it's amazing. This quality is going to be terrible because I'm on my phone. I didn't bring my camera. And the light is just shining. <clears throat> and then I got a side of hash browns. And I called my husband, but he was on a call, so he didn't answer. I was back, he was like, you know, so he's starting my water. He's doing a three-day water diet. Fuck 24. I wonder how that tastes. He said, listen. You know it'd be stressful with these three kids we got. Don't be walking around here with no attitude because you're hungry. Anyways, friends, happy Monday. And welcome back to another vlog. I look. It's okay. By the end of the week. And we have some nails. We want some hurt it. Be looking like something. I need to find a place that can do my eyebrows. Because at this point, I'm tired of letting these suckers grow in. Anyways, bye, y'all. Me and Benny are home now. About to show y'all my food. Ooh. A terrible angle. My bad. Mama, mama, what little girl? Why? Huh? <laughs> she literally, y'all seen her eating in the car. That's how much she's trying to eat. Then I gotta go to work. Because. <laughs> Anyways. Ketchup. So I just got bean. Girl, this better be far at hard. Okay. I got bean, an egg. Here. She's so funny. And then I also got hash brown. I cannot wait. <clears throat> then, hmm. I got it on a croissant. So I think it has sriracha, bacon, egg. Where is the sriracha? Sriracha mayo. Girl, she did not. Anyways, I just got a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. She must have gave mine away to somebody else because this ain't it. Hey, friends. I got y'all in the dark a little bit. It is so. I'm gonna let y'all see this. I've been snacking all day, except obviously when we were at our what's name? I'm watching Asia Nari. We were watching Asia and Enzo. Before she just fell asleep. This is the first time my baby done took a nap and I don't know how many months. This is wild to me. This is what happened when you actually take her outside the house and let her do an activity. Shada was exhausted. So anyways, guess what? My little contract is actually ending today and not on Wednesday. So that was new. So it was actually supposed to end on Friday. But it was like miscommunication. So they were like, oh, well, let's just work on what we can today and then like end it so i was like okay well what am i gonna do for the rest of the week so yeah i guess i will be organizing our house doing the things that i have to do slowly throughout the day or not at all while i'm working so <laughs> All that bullshit's for the birds You ain't nothing but a vulture Always hoping for the worst Waiting for me to fuck up You'll regret the day when I find another We are well I'm home but um we got some flyaways. I dyed this wig again last night and I might have made it a little bit stiff. I don't know yet. But I did the side part to give my middle part another break. 
I don't like this short, this sweater. It's the actual sweater that I got from uh, PacSun, but it's, it's got like pockets on it that you can't really get to because they're all the way on the side. God dang it, where is it? Um, Almost like a mock neck, which is just hideous. Anyways, it's comfortable though. Yeah, these flyaways are in order. But I'm happy to have my my uh, my U part wig back on my head, big as it want to be. So me and Bean we're gonna go to Home Goods again today because I want to look at the um, I want to go to Home Goods because I want to see what Easter stuff they have out, just the bunnies and stuff, so I can use it to decorate her with her. Cause I wanted to, baby. I'm. I don't know if you realize it, but mommy is grown. I'm an. I'm an adult, and I'm an adult, and I do what I want. I had to make me some coffee with a little bit of caffeine in it. I have been without caffeine for almost a month now. I had half of a coat yesterday. I had a headache yesterday, so I drank half of that to help. And now I'm drinking this caffeine in hopes that it will help my. Um, Headache go away a little bit, but it just sucks because my follow-up appointment is tomorrow and it's like you've been this long and I always say you gonna have caffeine right before it's time for your follow-up, but it's okay. The pickle tastes nasty. What you do? What you been trash? The other thing I wanted to go to home goods for was um to see if they have the other shower curtain. Um I showed y'all I didn't show y'all the pink for the towels I showed y'all in the last video. If you chose to watch that video. Bang, what a remote. Oh. Mm -hmm. I see it. I'm about to watch. Real high flash for a little bit and then <laughs> if my headache subsides, me and Bean will go to Home Goods. I don't really feel like going to Home Goods, but I really want to while I'm not working, I really want to accomplish more stuff around the house. Um, there's a sweater that I wore whenever I went to my niece's birthday dinner and I didn't wash it because I was only out for like two hours. Why would I do that? And it's a really nice sweater. I didn't want to mess it up. Anyways, girl, when I smelled, put the sweater on to do one of my TikToks, it smelled so good. And I feel like I mentioned to y'all, but I don't know if I did or not. But Brittany from Pockets and Bows gave the best combo and it smells. Y'all, if you got these two perfumes, try it. It's Kayali Juicy Fruit Eden or whatever it's called. Kayali Eden and Kayali Vanilla 28. I don't know if there's different versions of vanilla. Anyways, I don't like the vanilla by itself, but together she was like, she felt like Kayali Eden was a summertime scent. So to winterize that you add the Kayali Vanilla. And when I tell y'all it is the most amazing smell, I like it better than the Tom Ford Lost Cherry mixed in with the Kayali Eden. Girl, that's one brand that I wish Dossier would make Kayali inspired fragrances. I swear to you, I would I would get them all up. Because this, but that's the other thing. I think a lot of people get the idea that Dossier has like replicas when they're just supposed to be inspired by it. So they may not smell exactly like it, but it's gonna get you very close. Like the Ambery Cherry inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry to me smells exact. Powdery Coconut smells Pretty darn close, if not exact, to the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. And then I just got the lavender. I have to go get it. The floral, I think it's floral lavender, which is inspired by YSL Libre Grill. It smells pretty much the same to me. But that's the thing, though. Like, I don't mind my fragrances. Like, I like, don't get me wrong. I like designer and luxury just as much as the next person. But when it comes to a scent, I don't care if it's from Walmart, Target. I'm not going to Walmart to get it, but Dossier. As long as I smell good, the whole point is to be complimented. Do I like how I smell? Do other people like how I smell? Like when I walk out, do people be like turning their nose up? Or do they tell me, girl, you smell good. What are you wearing? Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? So when you're buying from Dossier, just keep that in mind. It's about smelling good. And if you follow the right people who got the, the noses, they're going to tell you the perfect combination to put together. The layering is what really makes them scents stand out. But I did get two um, Dossier fragrances that I wanna give to one of y'all. So comment down below and tell me what is your favorite thing to do for fun or favorite thing to do to treat yourself with your Instagram handle. And I'll reach out to one of y'all to send y'all the Ambery Cherry and the Ambery and the Powdery Coconut, two Tom Ford inspired fragrances. I love Dossier's fragrances. I have a ton upstairs. I talk about Dossier all the time. 
If y'all don't know what Nocia is, they're like luxury inspired fragrances at affordable cost. So you can build your perfume collection without having to break your bank. There's nothing wrong with having a mix of highs and lows. And I personally enjoy Nocia's fragrances. So if y'all use my discount code, you're able to save a percentage off your purchase. Um, I'll leave everything down below. My, uh, my code will be across the screen. Um, let me go get the fragrances real quick so I can show y'all the two that y'all be getting as well as the one that I have. Please hold. Okay, so this looker has a fort built over there. So this one is the Ambery Cherry, I believe. Yeah, this is the Ambery Cherry. I already have have the Ambery Cherry from um, Dossier. I love it. Combine it with um, Kaeli Eden, perfect mix. Or you could just wear it by itself. I really like this fragrance for like going out and stuff. Um, even if I'm like working around the house, AKA working from home, but they come in these cute little boxes. They're gonna have your little card thing that gives you the notes and everything like that. This is the powdery coconut. Again, your little card, the bottle. And this is the one that I got for myself, which is the floral lavender. I think that's what I said before. Or lavender floral something. This is inspired by YSL Libre. I love the YSL Libre scent. I had stopped wearing it. Oh my God, it smells so good. It may not be as intense, but definitely the smell is there. All right, let me put y'all on to this little sandwich that my mother-in-law had my husband going to get and he got his self one too and gave me half of it. So he got this for me yesterday. Hopefully it's still some good for today. And I'm gonna have to guess what's on it because I don't know. I just said, give me what your mama ordered. But this is what it looks like. Yes, it is. So you ask for on their regular white bread, right? And then it has jerk turkey Spinach, jalapenos, pickles, onions, tomato, mayo and mustard, salt and pepper, I think. I'm gonna let it sit out and then thaw a bit of my water soup with some Doritos. Play with it if you want to. Actually, I have cracked pepper and sea salt chips that I can't eat with it, but I think I want Doritos. Hold on, let me taste one. Off camera. I'm going to taste it on camera, but I'm not going to put that in there because I hate when people eat. Like, literally chew their food on camera and proceed to talk. It's just my ick. Doesn't mean it has to be yours. Please hold. You think I'm funny? But, little fun fact. I always wanted to do mukbangs. I like doing mukbangs with my kids. And we like to watch mukbangs. But, the whole intent has to be, I'm, want, I'm chewing on camera for a reason, because I want you to see how good this food is. But it's just be mid conversation. And be like this. This is gonna irritate me when I go and edit. Mm-hmm. So I was telling him, he was like, you know, do you eat like that in public? That's what I be wanting. Do you really eat like that in public? Mind your manners. Mommy, it's yummy. It's yummy. It's yummy. It's yummy. I wish I could see her. Sure. Mm. Look at this. Blood. I'll be shame. That's why mm. I like this. You get natural colors. Because sure. sometimes I play a part and it just don't feel like going. Sometimes I'm like, mm, let, me, let me extend it a week because I need to save some money. And then you have a no buy like that, huh? I intentionally did, you know. I knew I wasn't going back for the month of January. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> Friends, how is it been? Been. 
So I'm sitting outside my doctor's office because I have a follow-up appointment with my OBGYN. <laughs> so y'all know I told y'all um, I've not been drinking caffeine, no chocolate, um, no yellow cheese. I really go into detail about it, but I don't mind sharing because I feel like we're all females. Like, this is part of life. But basically, I have been feeling um, pain in the, the in the boob area and i've been feeling it for a while but i just attributed it to me breastfeeding so i didn't really like worry about it and then obviously when i stopped breastfeeding last year it kind of continued but it's kind of one of those things where you know you kind of sweep it under the rug and you're like if i don't think about it it will no longer exist but then a little over a month ago it got really bad so i decided to make an appointment with my um, doctor's office and she basically told me that i have fibrocystic breast disease which is basically where you have a lot of small or large cysts in your breast area that's why she asked me or told me i'm and i'm just gonna relay what my doctor said and not what i researched just because anybody can put anything on in it and I don't know what she was not, but she just told me to cut out those three things. And for the most part, I've been able to do that for the past month, except the last two days I had a headache. So I was trying to curve the headache with caffeine and just to find out it was just mother nature. Let me know that she was knocking at my door and she was coming bright and early this morning. So she basically did my breast exam. And the thing about the fibrocystic breast is that it's hard to detect if there's anything other than cysts just by a breast exam, because obviously you're going to feel cysts, but you don't know if it's anything else unless you take it a step further. So she was just like, I want to see you back in a month because I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. But the way my guy works, I'm declaring the creep. There's nothing other than what she said it was, but also being realistic. I want to take all the necessary precautions. So obviously she'll do another breast exam today, but I'm going to push it a little bit further just because, you know, my sister's in the case for me. It's like, just based on, even my cousins, they were just like, based on the history of our family, get a second opinion. So I'm going to talk to my doctor again. I will say that even with me cutting those things out, is bad. Because what those things, those three things, at least at a minimum, those three things, it could be other things. They cause flare-ups, like inflammation. So you'll feel a little more like discomfort. Um, but she told me mine were small compared to what she's used to seeing. So I'm basically getting away with murder compared to other women who have like golf ball size cysts. So anyways, this is somebody in front of me that can clearly see me talking to my camera. After this, um, I want to go to, I, I don't have an decided if I'm going to go home because this is literally right down the street from my house. I have an appointment at 1.15, so I'm trying to figure out if I want to, it'd be so cute seeing the little couples coming here with their little bellies and stuff, checking on their little fetus, they baby. I'm trying not to make eye contact with them, but um, yeah, I want to go to this coffee shop that Aaliyah's face keeps talking about. Baby, not you got a man person, your pants is tighter than your girl's. The evolution of men's fashion is very much coming over to the feminine side. I'm not mad at it. I feel like people should be able to express themselves in whatever way they want to. But That's weird. So women are starting to wear baggy clothes and men are starting to wear fitted clothes. Huh. Anyways, what was I saying? Because I like to talk and I just keep rambling. Yeah, so I don't know if y'all watch Aaliyah's face, but she keeps talking about this coffee shop called wave three and um how good the matcha latte is so i was like i like matcha lattes i love coffee i love coffee shops why not go so i'm gonna go and then after that potentially go to ikea and then i'll go to my nail appointment which, which is at 1 15 if i have time to do all of that i have eight minutes into my doctor's appointment i'm not going in there a minute early i don't like sitting in waiting rooms i don't like being around people i just want to be in the comfort of my 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 car all right, so I just got out of my appointment and it went good. She was like, um, the cysts actually feel smaller than they were a month ago. So what I've been doing has been helping and I was actually supposed to take, what is it called? She wrote it down. Evening primrose oil. I completely forgot that she told me to start taking that. So that's my fault. Um, and she was like, I really feel like when you start taking that oil, that's going to knock like any symptoms or uncomfortable being uncomfortable out if it puts your mind at ease we can do a diagnostic mammogram but she was like i'll warn you insurance is not going to pay for it why do you have to literally be dying for your insurance company to even look your way but then she was like, I could also do an ultrasound, but that's not going to check for the same thing a mammogram would. It's just going to check for cysts. And it's basically going to look at like the size of your cyst. Have, is there a change in like the growth of it? Is it still, it's still, I'm still going to have to pay something. It's just not, that's just the least expensive option. So I'm glad that she gave me options and she was just, wasn't just like, you're fine. Going about your day, have a good weekend type thing. Um, so I was like, can I think about it? She was like, absolutely. Like, let me know what you want to do. Okay, I'm real quick before I pull up. I made it to Wave 3 Coffee. It's in Buckhead. Um, 
I have Taylor reached out and asked me, can I come in at 1115 instead? So it's going to take me like 15 minutes to get over there. But let me show y'all how pretty this is. I'll insert a picture too because I already put the lid on it and made it ugly. But ain't she so cute? So it's not super hot. I should have asked for extra hot. But hold on. It smells good. So whenever I go to Tuesday morning. No, not Tuesday morning. It's called Tuesday. Um, coffee shop that's in downtown Marietta. I get an ice matcha latte with with lavender. I think it's lavender vanilla. So, but this one the uh, matcha does not come like sweet. So you gotta add, add the sweetener. So let's taste it. I got mine with lavender. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Wow. It will make you literally never go and get a matcha from Starbucks ever again. It's like perfectly blended. Sir, it's a green light. Where the f Oh, okay. I just can't be bothered. Um, but yes, it's a perfectly blended matcha. He wants to get hit. I'm convinced because why else would you do that? Yeah, it's just blended so smoothly and you can taste the matcha but it's not like a strong green taste of matcha. You know what I'm saying? And then it has like the, but ooh, shit. God dang it, people. Watch where y'all are going. <sighs> Anyways, I miss working over here in Bucket. I used to, me and one of my um, work friends, we were pregnant at the same time. This is when I was pregnant with Maddie. And I literally worked in the same little plaza area as um is it called new york strip it was right next to the ritz and um we used to walk across the street to lennox every single day and eat stuff our fat faces anyways y'all let me focus because these folks mm -mm, i can't even i cannot be bothered So these are the ones that I wanted. So why are they $24.99? Heavenly Father. I feel like I can find these cheaper at Home Goods. So I'm going to pass on that. So I had no idea you could use the Calyx system like this. I really like this. Ooh. I'm about to get some of these for Bing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is cute. I wish I would have came to Ikea first because this is the absolute cutest bed. And it's $99. It's so cute. And it's not on the floor. She would have loved this, but I like her room as is. I don't think I can get this box inside of the one spring. Find it. So the table comes with the chairs for $50. <laughs> What else I found? One of y'all recommended I do wooden hangers instead of the plastic ones. Period, she fits. Ooh, what's wrong with my eyes, boy? So friends, I was getting a piece of gum out and a piece flew over here on the side of my door and I was like oh shoot but then I was like one day that piece of gum is gonna come in handy when I don't have any gum in my center console and I'm gonna be like I remember that day I dropped a piece of gum and then it made me think about how men just don't understand the level of security that the chaos of that women bring to the car when they feel like we have our entire life in the car with us like snacks tissue wipes water bottles a hairbrush 
all of your chapsticks, several pairs of shades. They just be like, why you want all this junk in the car? And it's like, it's not junk, it's necessities. For example, what happens if one day we just out and about and you like, oh shoot, I scraped my hand on the little handle whenever I was coming into the, uh, getting into the car and it's like, no problem. I got band-aids in here spawn right there in the West Night. If you gonna pull out, oh dang, you really prepared. Yes. Girl, if you don't get off my tail, all this road, you on a ride. Anyways, I was just thinking about that because my husband, with prime example, the other day I got into the car, I had me a poppy set right here and I didn't drink it after my hair appointment. So I was like, I'm gonna just leave it in there because I know one day I'm gonna be thirsty. Why I went to the refrigerator last night, it's a poppy set right there. I said, excuse me, sir, where does poppy come from? He was like out of the car. I was like, well, did you take my snacks out of the car? He was like, what snacks? I was like, never mind. So my snacks still sitting right here because I feel like snacks in the car keeps the road rage at bay. It's a known proven fact. Ask my mom because I used to be hell on wheels when I used to go into the office and people just driving slow every which way. If I have snacks, I'm like, you know what? It's okay. I just need you to leave my ish. Where I put it. All my shades in took out the car. So now I gotta remember to grab a pair of shades every time I get into the car. You like why you need five, six, ten pair of shades every time you get in the car? Because I don't know what vibe I'm gonna be on when I get in there. And then what if I forget to grab my glasses and now I just gotta endure the sunlight the whole drive? Now I'm mad. Yeah, my eyes mad and burning. Lovely cheese grater. He was not playing. He like cheese over here. So, my favorite little bakery in downtown Marietta. They have the best creme brulee. Way less expensive than when you order it from a restaurant for like $15. And normally their cheesecake has um, these raspberries to give them specks of hair, but it's not really. Normally the cheesecake has, it's like a normal slice of cheesecake and it has like the crust. But this time it doesn't have crust, but I feel like it'll still be good. Can you see that? Just a thick lump of cheesecake. Ooh, the cheesecake is for my husband and Kenzie. The creme brulee is for me and Bean. Maddie don't like anything from the bacon. She's a picky gal. Oh my God, this is a mess. You should have just ate that. This is so good. My husband bought these from Publix, I think. Well, uh, avocado hummus. I said you could just make guac. That's basically what it was. But then he also got the roasted red pepper one. He likes hummus. I didn't like hummus. Not because I tasted it and it was nasty. But because I never tried it and I just assumed I wouldn't like it. Had with these chips here. I think they come from Publix as well. Garlic thyme organic Mediterranean baked crackers. Amazing. They're like little strips, you see that? And then you just give it a ganda. Get a little bit of that sauce in the middle. Hopefully it's good. Beans little play set. What is this? Oh, here we go. Do you like it? Huh? Yeah. No, oh, but do you like the whole table and chair set? You like your table? You do? Okay, look. So I also got. Hopefully, I can see me. I bought these. It's like little containers. They had colorful ones too, but all their colors are like rainbow colors. Somebody dab the fuck in. You funny. Got to see these Can I show friends this? So it's just like um, little containers like this with lids on them. So you can put their Legos in this, which is what I might do that. But my whole goal or purpose in getting these was to put her crayons and stuff down in them. Am I dark? I'm facing the window. So I'm gonna put her crayons and stuff down in here. She can leave these out on her little what's name right here. And then I also got 
Excuse me, Benny. This little dry rice thing. So I need to go get her some dry rice markers. They had all that there, but I was like, I'm not gonna go overboard and just start buying a whole bunch of things. But it's this one. It's not pink. It's not neutral. Yeah. So it's like this. So I'm gonna sit here and let y'all see what it looks like. So it's meant to be like this. So I can sit up while she writes, and then we'll have these little things that we can pull out. I might store them either over there or in her closet somewhere. So I just need to get her like a circular rug. Circular rug. I don't feel like getting up, y'all. A circular rug, and this will go on top of it. A couple of y'all suggested a table and chair set go on top of her rug thing. So, um, and now she can have her little tea parties in color. You like it? So it came with a set of three, and I think these were only six ninety nine. This this is not a tray. It's for you to write on. I don't remember how much this was. And then I also got her these spoons, which should be downstairs. It's not for her to play with. Um, and then I don't know if y'all know, but IKEA sell or not sells. They give away um, safety kits for free to like mount things on. I needed one to mount that against the wall. It actually came, this is the Calyx. It actually came with the mountain things, but we've had these for so long, We don't. I don't think we have them. We might have some tools laying around somewhere that we can use, but anyways. That's it, and then also, I mean, I said that's it, and then also, I got these, which one of y'all also suggested to get wooden ones. You know I bought some other ones. They're like the velvet ones from, uh, hold on, let me just get them real quick. They don't, uh-oh. We need to clean your room up, no. So I bought these from Home Goods. This is a pack of 25 and I don't need 25 hangers. And then these are also silver like I was selling y'all. I could spray paint them, but I don't really think it's that deep. I feel like the mixed metals over there would be practically fine, quite honestly. But now that I'm looking at it, I don't think this will look bad with the wooden ones. Let's just see what it looks like real quick. Um, and I didn't know, I didn't go in there looking for wooden hangers. I just so happened to be in the kids section and seeing that they had the wooden hangers. So let's see what it looks like. Comes with five for $6.99 or four ninety nine. dollars Can y'all see me? Not that y'all need to see me, but I am so happy this Friday. Let me know if y'all think I should spray paint it. I feel like it'll be fine like this. I'm not mad at the plastic hangers, but one of y'all said y'all felt like the it, it took away from it. And I just, I honestly put the plastic ones on there because when I brought this up, it wasn't 100% dry. And I didn't want it to like scrape off when I added the metal ones. I think it looks cute because her ballet things, if y'all see, they have like silver on them. Each of them do. So I feel like this doesn't look bad. And then, not that this is one of the details, but y'all see how that right there is like silver. And then the reflection it is, I feel like it's fine. I think that's so cute. Um, I still need to go to Home Goods to see if I can find like I have another ballerina at Target. You can see, I, why is this focus on, I don't know what it's doing. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm a see if I can find some other stuff to go up there. Um, Her room's a mess. Obviously this will be positioned like in the center, especially once I find like her circle rug, we'll know exactly where to place it each time. But I think her, she wanted to put on a bathing suit earlier, but I think her room is perfect for her. Oh, and tomorrow, possibly, or Sunday, we may go and get the wood. I need to start measuring this, but I probably, I don't know if I'll do that today, because honestly, I'm tired. So, I need to eat back and get my $10. I'll clean up her room in a minute. It makes zero sense for me to clean up her room just for her to mess it up again. And then in here in this loft, it's finally clean, thanks to my husband. I cleaned it last night. I never came back and showed y'all. I took the crib 
down that's downstairs to go uh, ready waiting by the door to go to the basement also um took apart i think i was saying that i took apart one of the calyx systems that used to be in maddie's room being ripped the the stuff off of it and then ripped up the stuff that she ripped off of it so it's not like we could fix it fix it we got our our use out of it so i'm not mad at the fact that we're just going to completely discard that one i have mascara running under my eyes yeah um so anyways so it's clean she's been restored <laughs> still need to do some laundry anyways did i ever show y'all that this rocking chair from bean's room was in here i actually don't mind it being in here i feel like i showed y'all this before but yeah i don't mind it being in here it don't really match but i was like now it makes the space look lived in as opposed to a showroom which i'm not mad about and then it's just so comfortable to sit right here and just rock i don't want to get rid of it maddie won't sit in her room but i'm trying to avoid putting what the hell just random stuff in her room so i need to go plan out her room too if anything i might change remove the uh uh rainbow off her wall i don't even know if y'all remember what her room looks like anyway y'all we're gonna have mexican tonight taco tsunami to be exact they have the best asian nachos oh my gosh i can't wait i have to relax for the rest of the day probably edit this video see what we looking like you know what i'm saying <laughs> say what your name is oh yeah that bitch girl tell me where you headed can i walk with you girl you got that look in your eyes that look like you give your boy here a good old time And I'm on it, girl That's right, I'm on it, girl See, this is the first time I had a girl who looks at me on fire I'm really trying to get to know you better, girl You ain't gotta act like you're shy Cause we gon' do something Something is gon' be done And we gon' get drunk And have a lot of fun And I say oh, She wearing her hair, she working on me She talking that talk just like, like, like not me pressing buttons this Saturday beat. Got my some, some tea decal. It's the I showed y'all one time with Target. Anyways, I got my Sephora order in today and I got my hands on the goods. Let me go get it so I can show you guys. Please hold just one second. Sit y'all right there. Don't y'all go nowhere, okay? Please hold. Y'all touch my tea bean. Out. We got the goods. Girl, I proud of your cover stuff done ripped from the wind. I think it was just on there wrong. Look at this. This is what I be talking about. What deck? Because all of the furniture is just shift over. Anyways, so we finally got the goods. I got the Berry Calm. I think there's also a Blue Moon and Lemonade. Do it say Lemonade? Blue Moon. Girl, this is the one I got. I haven't tried it yet. I was going to try it last night, but I had me a Marg last night. And I was like, that's going to suffice. I, ain't, I didn't want to waste my stuff on, on it, you know. Let's see what it smells like. It smells good. So, I'm going to use it probably tonight. So, I have dinner tonight at Nobu at 530, which is a fairly early reservation. At Nobu, is either going to be early or it's going to be super late, like 1030. You can't find like a good dinner reservation, like 6.30, 7 o'clock. But I feel like 5.30 is perfect. I'll probably leave here at like maybe 4.15 just to account for traffic, park, and all that kind of stuff because I've never been to this Nobu before. I don't even know where it's at, honestly. So the reservation I feel like is early enough. Nobu only allots an hour and 45 minutes for a party of two. I figure I'll probably be back home by like 8, 8.30. It's a perfect time to still like wind down Spend time with the kids, do whatever I need to do, and take my little concoction. They've been drinking my uh poppy, so I gotta hurry up. Anyways, I also got the topicals because y'all know I was telling y'all I wanted to try something to work with my dark spots and stuff. So this says it's for brightening and clearing eye mask. It's a brightening and clearing eye mask for under eye darkness and puffiness. I got both. My under eye bags are hereditary, so there's not really much I can do about that. Well, it probably is, but I'm not. When it comes to plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery in my face, not happening. Because you just can't come back from it, baby. It's folks that's done proved it to us. And then I got 
a lineage sample. I'm always get my samples. Cause why would I leave free product on the table? Can y'all see that? What is it focusing on? Hmm. I don't know. And then I also got the Tom Ford. Um, hold on, y'all. Can y'all see that? Hey. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Hi. Me be telling Siri to do her password. Like Siri really gonna do that? Okay. The Tom Ford oud wood. It smells so good. I'm used to them just coming in this little plastic fold thing, not this long little thing. I also got a Laura Mercier concealer um, um, sample, and it came in like a little mini thing with a twist off cap, which I thought was so cute. This smells amazing. Malia, patience, okay? She said, I have been patient. I've been telling you this whole time. Turn on. But yeah, that's all I got. So I was gonna try, my intent was to try these this morning, but I had put all my stuff before I, I remember it. Um, and these are in my room and not my bathroom. So I'll try it tomorrow morning and every day thereafter. As long as it doesn't irritate me. Everything irritates my eyes, I don't know why. So, anyway, I was gonna go to Home Goods this morning, but I decided I don't wanna do anything until it's time for me to go. Because my cycle, normally the first, Two days are like the worst for me. It's super draining. I don't wanna do nothing. I just wanna make sure I save my energy to be able to go because the way I'm set up. <laughs> I will go get my bed and Kim will be at that reservation by herself. But I'm not gonna do that to Kim. <laughs> just saying. <clears throat> what in the entire F-U-C-K? What is this? What? Oh shoot, I spilled the stuff out. Did y'all see when I spilled the stuff out on camera? Oh my gosh. Bring me that mini vacuum. I ain't studying this. So I got a lot of like, I ain't even got a lot. I have stuff on my to-do list that I need to get done. Funnily, if that's a word, funnily. One of them is responding to text messages. I have neglected responding to text messages all week because first of all, don't call me. Don't ever call me. If it's an emergency, text me because I will text you before I'll call, pick up your phone call. I know that sounds weird, but I hate talking on the phone. It's the awkwardness of getting off the phone for me. So the silence, so do I say, well, I ain't want nothing, which I really can't say that because nine times out of 10, I didn't call you. Like what happens if you say, well, girl, like about to get off the phone with them, right? And then they're about to spark up another conversation. And it's like, oh my bad, what you about to say? And they're like, now they don't even want to tell you about it. So they're like, oh, I was just gonna say X, Y, and Z. And then you got off the phone. So it's the awkwardness of the timing in which we're supposed to end the conversation. Like, is the conversation over? And then with text messages, I don't respond immediately sometimes. Either I'll leave it on read so I'll remember to respond, or I'll read it and it'll be like, I'll respond later. Because for me, I'm not like a, I'm not like a, um, shh. What is it called? What is it called, Maddie? Short conversation, small talk. I'm not a small talk person. I like to actually engage and I and for me, because of that, I feel obligated to make sure that I'm acknowledging everything that you say and respond to everything it is that you say. So there's the thinking of like, okay, this is gonna be a task. Like I need to make sure I have time to actually properly respond to this person before I actually respond. My husband called me, hold on. Hey friends, why do I have my blinker on? I'm about to go to dinner. Oh, can y'all see me? Hopefully it's not messing my what's name. But anyways, um, I'm about to go meet Kim for dinner. I told y'all I was going to Nobu. Child, I've been sitting up editing what feels like all day long because I didn't edit as I went. And now, I don't know. I'm trying to be like in an irritated mood. I'm not really in an irritated mood like that, but I'm not in a calm mood since I got it done, child. I have on, um, first of all, it is 65 degrees outside and I have on this thick sweater because the temperature is gonna drop. And I was like, I don't need to even need to pretend like it's springtime because it's not. It's supposed to get down to like 40 something. Hold on, y'all. God dang it. Give me a minute, y'all. This air stank. Get that checked out. Anyways, um, yeah, now it's saying 64 degrees. So the temperature is slowly dropping. But 
I have on NARS, no, Makeup Forever um, Tinted Moisturizer because this is the closest thing to my face that I own currently. So hopefully I don't look super orange right now. I feel like I look orange now that I'm in sunlight. <laughs> We're gonna roll with it. And then I have, this is Morphe. I'll put it up on the screen. And then the Huda Beauty. Uh, I'll put this on the screen too. I broke the lipstick as I was putting it on. Amateur. What can I tell you? Do I want to put these on? I feel like they're going to make a crease on my face that I don't want. I feel like I have on like foundation, foundation. Mm, let's just go with it. This sun is the beaming. Oh, she cute. Oh, oh, she cute. These are from Free People. This sweater is from Fabric. And then I have on cream jeans. I didn't show y'all my outfit today. Baby, you ran that light like hell. Can y'all see? I have on these. Not me being bold enough to wear cream or white while I'm on my cycle. The Lord is on my side. That's all I was going to say. Anyways, I'm about to focus on this road. Because I can already tell the quality of this video. About to be trash. I'm on my phone. If I vlog, it'll be from my phone. No, it was dark. So, I don't know. Let me stop. Stop talking. I made a profile on Tinder She said you let me to be with The thing that means I didn't desperate Wish I could be tense to never let you Don't love me no more I don't need Y'all look where Kim sent to me How cute Say one thing Okay, y'all, I want to show y'all what Kim got me. It is so cute. We got flowers and her friend. I'm going to leave her Instagram on here. She made us these strawberry cakes. So I'm going to leave her information. So in case y'all are in this, the Atlanta area. Look at that. Yes, a strawberry a cake. Strawberry. Mm -hmm. And then Kim put these flowers in here, which I think are so cute. I had so much fun tonight. We have to do this regularly. Big band, the Good morning, happy Sunday. Me and you, me and you, we, she. Guess what I'm about to eat for breakfast. Some cake. No. That cake was so doggone moist. Why, what can I He said, cause I'm already hyper. <laughs> so guys, Nobu was a lot of fun. I haven't washed my face this morning. So if you see Christ in my NDR. No, but seriously. um. It was nice. I do feel like the yellowtail at the Noble in Miami is a little bit fresh. Tubby said it's because it's beside the still waters. <gasps> oh my gosh, I just ruined the cake. Maybe I should have put it put it in the refrigerator last night. Oh my god, it's so gooey. It's so gooey. And the and the uh -huh. and the icing is like whipped. Woody! Let's see how moist. Y'all can't see that. Anyways, I'm about to edit this video. So, I'm gonna, I can sight y'all a little bit later. Man, can you turn my camera off? My hand got stuck on it.